Episode 9 is often described as being a Star Wars film with many different twists and turns and surprises that will change our view on the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga entirely. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing I will say that I am really looking forward to seeing in this movie is exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to utilize the character of Kylo Ren and use him in this movie in order to make him a whole lot more evil than Darth Vader ever was because that is one of the big plans by J.J. for the character of Ren in Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with one of the filming sequences that took place a couple of months ago involving Adam Driver and a pair of other actors and actresses. Specifically, it's described that one of the sequences involved Adam Driver dressed in Jedi robes over at Pinewood where it said he was wielding the same Jedi hilt seen in Episode 8. However, the blade appeared to be red and unstable. It said Adam was clashing the lightsaber with two actors, one male and female, using a blue and yellow lightsaber blade against Ben Solo. Wire work was used for the actors dressed as Jedi, where Adam was instructed to emulate a force push where the actor were pulled by the crew, flying in mid-air against one of the Jedi huts that crumbles to rubble on top of them. Another sequence involved Adam Driver going up against one actor that appeared to be in Jedi robes, similar to Anakin Skywalker's from Episode 2, wielding a blue saber and clashing with Kylo now holding his red saber with the blue one in his other hand. A dramatic scene was also shot in which Driver was standing with an ignited red blade, staring at all the dead bodies on the field, with six Jedi entering from both the right and left portions of the scene behind Kylo Ren. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, it's pretty obvious that this is most definitely giving us a glimpse to Luke Skywalker's new generation of Jedi getting slaughtered by Ben Solo slash Kylo Ren and showing us the remnants, alright, of Luke's new generation of Jedi, the ones that survived, which most likely are the ones that become the Knights of Ren. So, what I find very intriguing about all of this, and I really do want to talk about the lightsaber hilt that Ben Solo is using in this particular sequence. So, what I find very, very interesting is that it's described that he's using the same exact lightsaber hilt in the beginning, the one that was seen in, of course, Episode 8, The Last Jedi. That was his regular Jedi hilt that basically Luke Skywalker handed down to Kylo Ren at one point in time, in between the sequels and the originals. So, during the events of The Last Jedi, it has a blue blade. Now in Episode 9, it's actually said to have a red blade. So what do I make out of all of this? Well, I think it's pretty simple to say. If you guys are familiar with the comics, specifically the Darth Vader comics, and it is canon, it is under Disney and Marvel, uh, you do learn that Darth Vader actually once created his red lightsaber blade by using the Force to make a green kyber crystal bleed, and it became red. And that's exactly why Darth Vader's lightsaber is red, because he actually used a kyber crystal from Karak and Phila which was a older Jedi, he used that and cracked it, or not cracked it, but he made it bleed and made it turn red. So what I think Kylo Ren did here, and as to why it's described that he's using the Jedi hilt, however has a red blade and is said to be unstable, once replaced with the CGI, I think that this is most definitely showing us that at one point in time, Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, in privacy in his own hut, was able to make his lightsaber bleed, the actual kyber crystal inside, and that's why it's red and unstable, and why he has to redesign the hilt into a more ancient design, where you have those little vents on the, both the left and right portions of the lightsaber hilt. Now, the other one of which that I do want to go over is how there's a sequence in which Adam Driver was going up against two other actors dressed as Jedi, one of which was a male, the other of which being a female, wielding a blue and yellow lightsaber blade, where they were actually hooked up to wire work and pretty much, you know, flung into a hut that eventually crumbles down into nothing but rubble on top of them, which leads us and transitions into a sequence where Adam Driver, also dressed as a Jedi, going up against another Jedi wielding a blue lightsaber. However, in this scenario, Kylo is wielding the red lightsaber that is now his, and a blue lightsaber from one of the dead Jedi going up against, of course, this other Jedi. Once again, creating that parallel 
to what Anakin Skywalker did in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, against Count Dooku, using two different lightsabers. So you can really see the parallels that J.J. Abrams is trying to really throw in here when it comes to Episode 9 in order to really make it resonate with a lot of hardcore fans around the world. So overall, guys, you know, I think that's one of the biggest mysteries that a lot of fans, including myself, really want to know more about is, well, what do Luke's new generation of Jedi look like? We only got to see their dead bodies on the ground in The Last Jedi, in case you guys did not notice. You got you got to kind of like focus on the ground a little bit, but you do see a dozen dead bodies, give or take, just on the field, just lifeless, just, you know, lying there, covered in dirt. It's a very horrific scene for Luke. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Nights in the